Good morning, brothers and sisters. I'm Brother Lammers, and we're back again for our lesson gem for this week. I'm going to be covering the doctrinal mastery lesson for 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 40 through 42. So the intent of this video is to share with you a few of the ways that I would engage with my students and to help them understand and to practice the doctrine that is taught in these verses. So let's get right into it. So here is the lesson plan from the curriculum of the New Testament Teacher's Manual, and I have the related content turned on because I have a few things that I have marked in my lesson plan just to kind of show you how I use the online lesson plan because they don't use printed materials anymore. And so the intent of this lesson is to help us memorize the reference and the key scripture phrases, but then to apply the principles of acquiring spiritual knowledge from the doctrines taught in the verse. So as I go through, I like the student preparation that will take at least a day before the lesson begins to invite the students to come to class prepared with a real-life scenario where the doctrine taught in this passage would be helpful. But what is the doctrine taught? And so we'll get to that in just a second. So again, love these activities and these ideas and to memorize and explain. Here's one little tip that I like to use with my students when I was teaching about the doctrine of the resurrection and the three degrees of glory. It's called sea turtle. So if you just use sea turtle, hey guys, let's just use this little quick way to help us remember the three degrees of glory or the three separate divisions of celestial, terrestrial, telestial, and the resurrected bodies. It's sea turtle. Sea represents celestial, terrestrial. Again, they like it. It helps them to remember it very quickly. I like this activity where it just, again, we are trying to memorize this little phrase. In the resurrection, there are three degrees of glory. Draw sun, draw moon, draw stars, sea turtle. Then we want to spend a little bit more time on number five, helping us explain truths taught in the passage that someone may not understand. And please do not assume that your students know about resurrection and what it is in the ins and outs of resurrection. Please teach it to them very straightforwardly and help them understand what resurrection is, when it will happen. And so a good question, what does happen after death? What is spirit paradise and spirit prison? And so there's a great verse in Alma chapter 40, verses 11 and 12, now concerning the state between death and resurrection. Those are awesome. So just remember brothers and sisters, that we really want to teach what they are going to do. We don't want to assume that they understand about what resurrection is because they've heard the term before and they have a vague idea. This first section is the easy part, the memorize and explain. And it's, it could be very easy to spend 20 to 30 to 45 minutes on that section alone. Can I, I do not want to be prescriptive, but can I invite you to take just a few minutes in this first section? This is great. We want them to be uh, familiar with the reference and possibly that key phrase, but we want to spend much more time in this section, practice application. This is the real stuff. This is why we're doing it. And so in the practice application, you have two scenarios and you are then going to engage with acquiring spiritual knowledge. And in acquiring spiritual knowledge, I hope that we have spent time teaching those three lessons or a variation of those three lessons where they know that act in faith an eternal perspective, and then having a divine sources, that they understand what those are, but let's talk about it in a way that it's applicable for them and it makes sense. So in the previous lesson, meaning if you would have taught the contextual lesson before, they got this doctrine drilled in. In Heavenly Father's plan, there are different degrees of glory for resurrected bodies. So when I talk about this, examine concepts with an eternal perspective, the language I use is give them a target to aim at. That language, if they're a senior, they've heard it seven different lessons about eternal perspective, eternal perspective. Give them a target. You guys, here's our target today. Here's what we want to keep an eternal perspective of. And that's the resurrection and the different degrees of resurrection for glorified, resur glorified bodies in, re in the resurrection. And so that's our target. And then Acquiring spiritual knowledge, if you go into your seminary section of your phone or if you are in your Gospel Library app, also the church's website, if you go to libraries, go to Gospel Library, then if you go to Books and Lessons, if you click on Seminary, I did that fast, so if you need to slow it down, this is the Doctrinal Mastery core document. If you click on that core document, this is what it's going to be referring to when it says, go to paragraph 8. 
it's going to talk to you about this acquiring spiritual knowledge, the core document. So I go down to paragraph number eight, and at the end of paragraph number eight, eight are two great questions. That's what it's referring to when it says go to paragraph number eight. It's that core document. In the core document, there's these powerful questions, and we want to give them the target. This is the scenario. We're talking about the resurrection, the different degrees of glory within the resurrection. But then, what do I already know about Heavenly Father and His plan? So take a time out right here with your students. Students, what do you know about the resurrection? What do you already know? When will the resurrection happen? There are great resources in the guide to the scriptures. So if I'm here, if I go back to this right here, if I'm going back to my gospel library app, if I touch on scriptures, if I go to study helps, right here, guide to the scriptures. In the guide to the scriptures, you look up resurrection and you can look up hell. What do they know about the resurrection? And really help them understand what they do know or give them a basis of what they know. We can, again, these are these divinely appointed sources that are going to help them to have a better experience when we do go into paragraphs 11 and 12 in the acquiring spiritual knowledge portion or of the core document. But then lastly, right here where it says act in faith, the language I use for act in faith is the doctrine of repetition. What does it mean to act in faith? Well, it means to try and try and try again because they may not get it right away. They may try to explain the doctrine of resurrection to a friend and they may fall on their face, but that's okay because the Savior allows us through the power of his atonement to try again. So brothers and sisters, as you go into this lesson this week, I encourage you to help your students know or give them a target and then teach them to practice it. Again, that's an eternal perspective and acting in faith. Give them a target and then help them to practice it over and over again. If they practice the doctrine of the resurrection and the different degrees of glory within the resurrection, they'll be able to then live it outside of your class. Thank you so much for all that you do. We'll see you next week.